In this screencast, we're going to go over creating an interactive map in Google's My Maps. So I've loaded up maps.google.com. I'm already signed into Google, and I'm going to click on the My Maps link on the upper left corner. Uh, now, if you are not signed into Google, it'll bring up a different sidebar that'll also say Get Started, and you'll sign in, and it'll take you to this screen. Uh, as you can see, I've already created a few maps, but I'm going to click on Create New Map, and that brings up uh, this sidebar where I can title my map and add a little description, select whether it's public or unlisted. For now I'm going to unlist it. And it also brings up these tools on the actual map area. The hand tool lets you select and edit map features. It also lets you kind of drag the map around. This is the uh, add a place mark tool which is as it sounds you click on it to add a place mark and you just um, find the area on the map that you want to add the place mark and then click your mouse and it will add a place mark there. I'm going to delete that for now. And this tool allows you to uh, draw lines and make paths and things like that. So I'm going to zoom in to uh, where I am. And I'll just do a few sample place marks. Um, let's see. Where is Chestnut and Main? I'll put a place mark right there. That is the local coffee house. Patrick Dugan's coffee house. And so when you place a place mark, uh, it brings up this info box where you can title that location and then add a brief description. Uh, the description can be plain text, rich text, or HTML. Uh, rich text lets you format it, you know, with bold, italicized, or italics, uh, underline, things like that, font colors, background colors. You can add links and make lists, numbered lists, unordered lists. Uh, edit HTML. You can, you know, write all your own HTML. You can embed uh, images. You can embed videos. So you can make it a lot more interactive. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave this blank. I imagine I could put something like a picture of the outside of the coffee house, or I can put their menu or a link to their website, anything like that. And um, let me zoom in one more. And I'll add another place mark. I'll add it at my work. Why not? So this is the Garden City Telegram. I'll edit the HTML and add a link. And I'll say Telegram website. Okay, and I will, let's see, add another place mark for hmm, the Finney County Sheriff's Office. easy enough. Now as you can see, um, each of these locations that I've added all have the same default place mark. And you know that's fine in some cases, but in other cases you want to be able to look at the map and tell what something is just by looking at the place mark. So now we're going to change from the default place mark to something a little bit more descriptive, a little bit more informational. So I'm going to click on Patrick Dugan's Coffee House. And to change the place mark, um, once this info box is open, you click on the upper right corner where this image is, this icon is, and you can choose from uh, Google has these default icons already set. And in this case, you know, I'll select this coffee cup. That seems appropriate. And so it's changed it both on the map and it changed it in the sidebar here. Uh, why don't we also change the sheriff's office? Let's see if there's an appropriate one. Hmm. Uh, I can't tell if this is a postal worker or a uh, law enforcement officer. And that's kind of the problem with these default icons. You don't always find one that suits the, uh, the location that you're trying to show. 
So we're going to leave that at default for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to another website to get a custom icon. So I'm going to make a new tab. And uh, it's code.google. Here we are. So this is the Google Maps icons collection uh, in the uh, code.google.com. And I've included the link actually in the post in the text below. But what this is, is this is um, a set of over 900 icons that people have contributed to represent uh, different map items that you might have. So there's things for restaurants, transportation, tourism, nature, industry, offices, stores, uh, celebrations, entertainment, culture. Well, this is actually all of them here. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to uh, view them by category. Administration, office, and industry sounds correct. And uh, police will work in this case. Now, uh, to use a custom icon, well, let's go back to our map first. So I want to change this to a custom icon. I'm going to click on the top right icon here. And instead of going to the default icons, I'm going to add an icon. Now it's asking me for the URL for that icon. So that's what you need. You need a URL for your icon. Now I can download this and uh, upload it to my own server and then host it there and then get the URL, URL that way. Or I can just copy image location, go back to my map, add the icon. I'm going to control V to paste that location back in. And my icon is now this little uh, police shield. And I can do the same for the telegram. I would just have to find an appropriate icon. I'm going to go into media. And uh, this notepad seems fitting enough. Copy image location. Go back to my map. And I'm going to paste that in. And there you have it. Of course, I can then, uh, you know, change the title of my map. I can call it uh, Garden City, Kansas. And uh, in the description, maybe uh, important locations throughout. I can't spell throughout Garden City. That sounds good. Now one of the problems with Google My Maps is that uh, if you want to embed this map in a site, it's easy enough to do. You just go to link and then uh, you know you paste this HTML to embed in website and you can customize it for you know the proper size and all of that. But the problem is is that as you can see here, uh, it shows up without let me close this. It shows up without this sidebar. So you just get a map that features only this area right here uh, and you can't tell what something is unless you click on it as opposed to having the sidebar where I can see oh this is a coffee house I'll click on that or oh this is uh, the Garden City Telegram I'll click on that uh, and so to solve that problem you can import your Google My Map into another service called Media Channel or pardon me Map Channels which is what we'll do in the next screencast